Hello, my name is Megan Pereira and I am the Senior Instructional Designer at SUNY Buffalo State. In this session, I will share information about the recognition networks of Universal Design for Learning. At some point in our lives, we have asked for directions on how to get from one place to another. In doing so, we may or may not have been able to get to our destination easily depending on the directions that we've received. When providing directions to a particular location, I could say, take the Skajakwita Expressway, get off at the exit towards Elmwood Avenue, and your destination will be a mile down the road. For some, those directions could be useful if you are familiar with the area or if you have a great sense of direction. For others, I may need to provide those verbal directions with exit numbers and highlight certain landmarks to help you identify where you are going and if you're going in the right direction. In addition to just providing verbal directions, I could provide you with a printed map to give you a visual to help you see exactly where your destination is in relationship to where you started. With technology today, some of you may choose to supplement my verbal and visual directions by typing the location into a GPS so that you have the verbal cues and the interactive map to help you navigate the road as you travel. By providing multiple modalities for the same information, the learners, or the driver in this situation, can easily access the information that is best suited for them so that they can be successful in their travels. The recognition networks allow us to reflect on how learners make sense of information. It explains how we gather facts and categorize what we see, hear, and read. Your diverse group of learners take in information in different ways. They vary in how they sense and perceive or process information in the environment. With this diverse population, learners may all require different ways to approach the content, and so as facilitators of learning, we must provide multiple means of representation. In the driving directions I shared earlier, by having the verbal directions, a visual map, either static or interactive, and the written directions, the learner can benefit from the variety of inputs and they can use the content items that are most beneficial to them. To address a variety of recognition networks and support your learners as they take in new information, it's important to present information in a variety of ways. It's important to provide options for perception, language, mathematical expression, and symbols, and also comprehension. When presenting information, we must allow options for perception, Perception is what allows us to understand or bring meaning to the content. When content is provided in only a visual format, learners may be able to access it, but may not be able to bring meaning to it or understand it. By providing the same content, but in different modalities that can be customized, the learner can manipulate the content and be able to perceive it in different ways. For example, Allow digital copies of any text materials so that learners can change the font color or the size or even have it read to them with a text-to-speech software. Provide captions or a script for any audio or visual content. Or provide text descriptions for graphs, charts, that can help the learner perceive the content. Provide options for language, mathematical expression, and symbols. Allows the content to be shown in a variety of representation. Vocabulary and numbers and symbols should be paired with alternative meanings such as illustrations, graphs, or models. What one learner understands in regards to vocabulary may not be understood by another. For example, provide a glossary or definitions for words used within the content or provide a list of key notations with symbols and text for learners to reference. Also, in the directions that I shared at the beginning, I have an image of a star on a map but I also give a text description that indicates that the star is the destination for the driver. When providing options for comprehension, it's important for learners to take in this information and process it to make it usable information. When making connections to prior learning experiences, the learner can take in this new knowledge and process it more clearly. As an educator, we chunk the content into smaller sections while highlighting key points and relationships within the materials to prompt the learner to identify the important concepts. For example, we can ask our learners what they already know about the topic being discussed 
or if they have experience with the related topics. We can provide graphic organizers and provide examples of concepts, along with multiple opportunities for our learners to revisit the content time and time again. In the direction story I shared at the beginning, I could have asked the person if they have ever been to Buffalo State College or to the Elmwood Village, which is where the destination is located. This will allow them to think about the, the area in which they are driving to before they actually have to drive. To summarize, the Recognition Network allows students to make sense of information, and because all students are coming to the information with different backgrounds, it's important to provide multiple means of representation to help the learners better understand and use the information that is being presented. As you think about how you can incorporate principles from the Recognition Network, Think, is there a concept or skill that your learners struggle to learn? Are you only providing one means of representation? What are some ways that you can provide multiple means of recognition related to that skill?